I have a lot of homework to do. I need to learn how to fight. I need to learn this new sport, whatever the situation is. And I think that's exactly what Bruce Lee went through as well. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it takes nothing away about how I, my respect for the man. Like, he's still yeah. my childhood hero. He's done a lot for, you know, uh, martial arts, bringing Kung Fu to, you know, the public and all that. And I still like to believe that he's invincible, but I know that um, uh, that he's not, you know, that he's yeah. just a man. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There, 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 you know, it's, not, it's not even being disrespectful, you know, like what he did was amazing for, uh, you know, for martial arts and everything. And he was very talented, in my opinion. He was very fast. He was very strong. Uh, you know, it's just that he, he didn't have time to continue his evolution. Because yeah. imagine, he died at the age of 32. Imagine if he would have had time to continue and to see MMA uh, come about. I think he would, have, he would have gotten involved, maybe not necessarily himself, but he would have, he, he would have trained some people to, uh, to, to go in the cage and, 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 and find, the tr find out the truth of, of all of this. I think he maybe. would have been down with that 100%. Maybe not himself. Maybe he would have been too old, but he would have been involved. You know how we trained um, supposedly, uh, like you're going to have to correct me if I'm wrong here because my, my martial art history is you know, fuzzy. Sure. But he, he trained Joe Lewis, right? Uh, yeah, I believe they trained together. Joe Lewis spoke very highly of, of Bruce Lee. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think he trained, okay, this is a little bit, did you train Chuck Norris or, or, or not? I'm not sure about that. Yeah, it depends on who you ask. Chuck Norris gave an interview where he said he taught Bruce Lee how to kick. Like according to Chuck Norris, they, they were friends and <laughs> they trained together from time to time. But, um, you know, the, the Bruce Lee fanboys will say that Chuck Norris was a student of Bruce Lee. The, the Chuck Norris fanboys will say Bruce Lee was a student of Chuck Norris. In Chuck Norris's own words, he said, um, when they trained together, Bruce Lee would at first, you know, repeat the Wing Chun dogma, no kicks above the waist, just kick the legs. It compromises your balance. And, and Chuck Norris, in his words, basically said, you know, Bruce, you're really athletic and flexible and all this. You should really incorporate these kicks into your, into your movement as well, which mm. I know irritates, irritates the, the Church of Jeet Kune Do, but that's what, that's what Chuck Norris said, man. <laughs> According to Chuck Norris, he taught Bruce Lee all the high spinning kicks that we saw in his movies. Well, you know what? I, I wouldn't have a hard time believing that at all. I mean, Chuck Norris was, uh, you know, he was a champion uh, kickboxer, right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken. So I wouldn't be surprised because I think that, and I, I've read that before too, that Bruce Lee at one point, he was against kicking. Like, and then somebody opened up his mind to that and I didn't realize it was Chuck, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if you know, that's, that's what happened. And uh, who else was... Um, and you know Jean LaBelle. Jean LaBelle is is the one who taught Bruce how to how to grapple. Uh huh. Like he, yeah. They trained. Uh, I remember reading that they trained together for a year, in in judo and and submission and and stuff like that. And so he he was he was starting towards the end. He was starting to pick up on the grappling a little bit. But once again, he died too early, and you know uh, he he couldn't continue his evolution.